Hello everybody, I'm gonna teach you today how to solve for this unknown angle here using trigonometry and not elementary geometry. And we're going to start right now. So what's going on? My name is Muhammad. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to know more about brain teasers, riddles, logic puzzles, viral math problems, and all types of mathematics related stuff, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so the problem is that we have this triangle here with angles 20 and 80 and from one vertex we draw a line segment to the opposite side where this length here is equal to this length here. So the question is to find, okay, what is this unknown angle, theta? Okay, so I'll give you some time to think about this problem and so what you do, pause this video, give this problem a try and when you're ready, keep watching this video for a solution. Okay, now to solve this problem, okay, we have, I will start by calling this side length here x, okay, and this is going to be equal to this length here, so I, I will call this uh, length here x as well, okay, uh, the angles of the, of the, uh, this triangle are 20 and 80, so the third angle is going to be 80, so this angle is going to be 80. So that makes this triangle here an isosceles triangle. So this length here is going to be equal to this length here. Okay, so I will call this length here A. Uh, and and since this is X, okay, so the remaining length here is going to be A minus X. So this is A minus X. This angle here is theta. So the remaining angle here is going to be 180 minus theta. So this is 180 degrees minus theta. Okay, and uh, this triangle here, the sum of uh, its angles are 180, so this angle here is going to be 180 minus the sum of the other two angles here. So this angle here, and I will find it right here, is going to be 180 degrees minus the sum of the other two angles, which are 180 degrees minus theta plus 20 degrees and that's going to be equal to theta minus 20 degrees so now the idea to solve for theta is by calculating the area of this triangle using two different ways and the area of this other triangle here using also two different ways and then that will give us an equation from which we can solve for theta so I will start by highlighting this uh, triangle here uh, in yellow okay just to mark it okay to mark it out okay and I, w I will then calculate there so the area of the yellow triangle here is can be calculated as half this length here multiplied by this length here multiplied by the si by sine 80 which is this angle here okay and also it can be calculated using half of this length multiplied by this length here and I will call this length here B okay uh, multiplied by sine uh, this angle which is theta okay so that's uh, how I found that's how I find okay this uh, the area of this triangle using two different ways okay so the area of the tri of the yellow triangle is going to be half uh, x multiplied by a minus x multiplied by sine 80 degrees and that's going to be equal to half uh, half uh, a minus x multiplied by b a minus x multiplied by b sine theta okay so now half gets cancelled with half uh, a minus x gets cancelled with a minus x so we're left with x multiplied by sine 80 degrees that's going to be equal to b sine theta okay and from this equ equation we can solve for beta for b i'm sorry uh, so b that implies that b is going to be equal to x sine 80 degrees divided by sine 
theta. And I will put this in in a box because we're going to be using this later. And I will call this equation number one. Okay. Now the next step is to find, okay, the area of this other triangle here also using different uh, two different ways following the same procedure okay so I will start by using this angle here okay so it's going to be uh, I'm sorry I'm going to be using this angle here uh, so it's going to be half x multiplied by a multiplied by sine uh, 20 and also half a b multiplied by sine this angle which is uh, theta minus 20 okay So half uh, x half x multiplied by a multiplied by sine twenty degrees, and that's going to be equal to half uh, a x. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, b x. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, a B sine theta minus 20 okay and same thing uh, half is going to be cancelled with half uh, a is going to be cancelled with a so we're left with X sine 20 and that's going to be equal to B sine theta minus 20 and then we can uh, substitute okay, the value of b here from this equation here. Okay. Okay, so I will substitute the value of b here. So that will give us uh, x sine 20 degrees is going to be equal to x sine 80 degrees divided by sine theta multiplied by sine theta minus 20 and also here we have x on both sides so x is going to be cancelled out okay and we're going to be and we can reorder the terms here we can put theta the terms that have theta and in one side and the other and the other side so that will give us uh, sine theta minus 20 degrees divided by sine theta and that's going to be equal to uh, sine 20 degrees divided by sine 80 degrees so now we have uh, uh, an equation okay where theta is the unknown everything else is known so we can solve for that uh, okay we have sine we can, we have sine uh, theta minus 20 so we have to uh, maybe uh, split that using the sine of the sum of two angles so I will use that okay okay so that will give us uh, sine theta cosine 20 minus cosine theta sine 20 and that's all going to be divided by sine theta and that's going to be equal to sine 20 divided by sine 80 okay and from this we can uh, divide both terms here to sine theta and simplify the expression so that will uh, give us cosine 20 minus sine 20 and I will bring the cosine down here so it's going that will give us tan theta and that's going to be equal to sine 20 degrees divided by sine 80 degrees okay and now we can put this on one side and the other on the other side okay so that will give us sine 20 degrees divided by and theta and that's going to be equal to cosine 20 degrees minus sine 20 degrees divided by sine 80 degrees okay and then we can solve for tan theta here and that's going to be equal to
to sine 20 divided by cosine 20 minus sine 20 divided by sine 80 degrees okay and then to find theta we have to take tan inverse of both sides okay so that will give us theta theta is going to be equal to tan inverse all that okay so it's going to be equal to sine I'm sorry sine 20 divided by cosine 20 minus sine 20 divided by sine 80 and if we calculate that that will uh, give us that theta is equal to 30 degrees and that's the solution okay thank you for watching if you like this video then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything if you have another way to solve this leave it down here in the comments below to help other people that might watch this video thank you for watching and see you in another video